Welcome back. Using an iPod or iPad or cell phone in the winter months can be kind of a pain when you have to keep taking your gloves off, but there is a solution. Jennifer Ackerman Haywood Grampets Press Craft Expert is back to show us how a few simple stitches can help. Now I'm really interested in this because I run all the time and it's really cold out these days. And oh, whenever yeah. I want to change my song or turn the volume up, I can't. I have to take my glove off and it's just a big, huge hassle. Right. But you are going to help me with this. Yeah, so I'm excited. And actually we have to credit the source here. Um, Allison Lewis um, wrote a book with um, Fang Yu Lin um, called Switchcraft. And okay. this is pretty cool because um, art and craft is really intersecting with technology these okay. days more and more, especially with iPhones and iPads. Um, this project is fantastic because all you need is, you know, you can go to the dollar store and get the you dollar know, pair of gloves. Spend your dollar on these gloves, which are great for running. I know okay. when I run, I wear these. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the expense though comes in when you're trying to get the conductive thread and you have to order this online and I'll have the link online so people so know where to get it. So it's not just any average thread. No, this is conductive thread um, and what this does is the way the technology works is you have, for your iPhone to work, as you know, you have to have that electricity from your body, mm -hmm. you know, is what really get, allows you to operate your phone right. on that touch screen. And when you have gloves on, you have that barrier, you right. can't do it. So what um, Allison came up with is this great project where you know what you do is you put on you put on the gloves and see where at what point your your fingertips are going to touch and then okay. mark it with a sharpie marker okay and what i do is i do the thumb and the first um two fingers so you have just because i'm not using my pinky right, at right, all neither. um and so if you want to try this all you do is take your thread and go right you're going to just go right under there right underneath yeah and just make sure you're not sewing both layers together otherwise okay. you get your hand back in there then just go right under here yeah so basically you're making some vertical stitches and then um you know, some horizontal stitches. So um, when you get done, you have it looking like a, how's that Not going? the best stitcher. Right well, it's a, it's a good project to start with though, because okay. it's not really involved. Um, and now that I put you on the spot here on here, TV. Here, let me help me. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I think well, I need a thimble. Well, here, what we'll do, we'll show people what, what this, it looks like here. And this is just, I don't know if you can get that. Um, it's just, a, you know, just a little tiny. How many times do you go through with a stitch? You know, I probably went about, um, Five, time, five times in each direction. Okay. So vertical, five horizontal. So it's about the size of like a pea. And then, yeah, and then okay. when you put it on, you know, you can use your, your phone and it's really cool. It really, really works here. Oh yeah, it is so, working. Yeah. Okay. So you're able to activate it and do everything you normally would do. So um, there's no excuses. Okay, now. very cool. So I will, I will uh, teach myself how to do that. I'm yeah. sure that a little Well, if you bring in some gloves, I can help you out with okay. that. We'll, we'll get you good. hooked up. And then we got something cute over here. Yeah, I want to also mention um, on uh, Craft Sanity Podcast this week, I have an interview with Alicia Polson. And this is a, um, basically a radio show on the internet you can listen okay. to my interview with Alicia. And um, for Christmas, I made this really cool um, project from her book. It's the memory game, you know, that children play. Um, usually it's ca like cardstock and yeah. you buy it at the store. Yeah. Well, what I did, um, Alicia has the instructions in her book for how to make, um, you know, you take family photos, mm -hmm. just little pictures of them. And they're really interested, of course, oh, in playing because all the pictures are of Abby and Amelia. So they, when they sit down to play this game, they try to match the photos. And they really thought it was pretty cool because they're the star oh of the gosh, game. Oh, my gosh, that's so, so great. Yeah, and it's fabric, um, basically um, a layer of just a print. You want to have a print so you can... Um, you, so it's you know doesn't you can't cheat you right, know, you know right. there's a smiley face on you're one right, you'll be you want to be on every single one you want it to be the same um, and then you use paper that you can actually print the photos it goes right through your printer so okay. um, and then there's felt in between so okay. and those instructions are in her book stitched in time how many of these do you make um, it's 36 total okay, so, so 18 photos 18 photos okay and you just have two of each Double. so yeah very cool yep and then I have a question about the printing the picture sure. um, how exactly do you get the picture onto the fabric. Well, basically what you're doing is you're printing out just like you would print onto paper. You know, so you pick- oh, Just a printer. You, yeah, just a regular printer and okay. you go to the fabric store and if you ask um, anybody there, they can refer, you know, show you the aisle where there's several choices of different papers that you can actually run right through your printer. It's amazing technology. Very nice. It's really come a long way these I days. really like this idea. Yeah, it's thanks, really fun. Thanks so much for being here. This is really gonna help me out. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> You can find more information on our website, including a link to Jennifer's website at WZZM13.com. Just go ahead and click on the Take 5 links. Now, it's all about the classics. Still ahead, find out how you can see everyone from Bond to Bogey on the screen on this winter. Stay with us.